Hello, hello, Kairopu here, and uh, coming on with a new game called The Valley. I am uh, don't know much about this game right now, but uh, I've read some good things about it. It seems to be an interesting um, sort of idea that they're uh, looking at here, sort of a life and death type thing. sort of started a little looking into it before, but I decided uh, not to go much farther until I got a chance to do a video of this, so uh, y'all pretty much be progressing this through with me as I go on. <clears throat> Let's see. Interesting look back there. I wonder how accurate some of this is actually for the Rocky Mountains. Since I've never actually been. Uh, curious about this. I uh, was looking through some of the screen captures and the graphics look amazing. I never actually heard of it before until I saw it recommended to me on Steam, so I'm hoping it uh, lives up to the hype I saw in the reviews. like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the, what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. Wow. A whole set of voice acting is in this as well. That's pretty awesome. I didn't expect that. Seems to be a good quality as well. I really wonder why I haven't heard of this before. But the graphics look amazing. You can tell like the walls are wet in the water. It's even really more. Look at that. Look at the flow of the water. The physics is really nice. Like I, uh, I wrecked myself pretty easily. Taking that guy as a five things to do in my Where the hell am I? Apparently, the Rocky Mountains so. are. Uh, oh, follow me to run. If I was not a horror game, else I'd be able to worry.
Oh man, this game is just... <laughs> Pretty hard. Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. So you say earth shattering power. But like, if I were to dig a hole in the earth, it's technically a shattering. Like we're not talking about like the entire earth, like, like taking it apart. I'm just rambling. Okay, I'm going to jump in the They're interesting. What? This is water. Interesting one. Blue light on that right there. This is very Bioshock is for sure. Uh, Bioshock mixed with almost a fallout with the map up there. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. This is so cool. Yeah, this is my shit. I 
would give them five
literally sets that mystical setting. You got this beautiful view and great graphics. It, just, it does very well at setting up this feeling of mysticality. Like glow means, hey, touch me. But uh, <laughs> not here. The army calls this valley Area 634, but I've ascribed a new word for it: Caserus. The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Caserians. any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? I get this whole bringing things back to life, man. I can get behind that. Oh, so actually bringing things back. Oh, that's what that fight was. Three here, three trees are brought back. We're bringing things back to life. That's cool. That's... So... Oh, I feel like four and I can get another one. Ooh. No different path on here. I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. They aren't natural predators to them at all. Then again, I mean, if you were anything small, you'd like a squirrel, I mean, you'd suspect that everything's in that house. Enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. Oh, well, I guess I, uh... Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders, so they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home's gonna want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. I feel like trying to run and jump from there might not. I'm sure I can win this. Come back to life! Oh 
know. I just need to open that door right there. But I have to go through this rock. Piloting leaf suits leap effortlessly through air functionally. <laughs> uh, leap effortlessly, effortlessly through air functionality. Are known as pathfinders. Their ability to manipulate life with running speeds up to 100 kilometers an hour makes them a deadly addition to the battle. If you could just take life, that in itself is enough to be a deadly addition to the battlefield. You're just like, boom, you're dead, boom, you're dead, boom, you're dead, and then like, oh my god, I just come back alive. It's almost like you're manipulating, you're taking the life out of one person, you just put it in another. It's like your life force is just transferred to, back to another person. I mean, that, that would be more than just opening up the battlefield. Just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> Such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose, it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. What's the whole reason for life? Maybe the main reason is just something for war. Whatever they can get out of it, they, they take. I don't know. It's sad. It doesn't destroy things. Again, we get these cool leases out of it all.
It's clear to me that the natives of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretations, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. I mean, it's said to, but does it actually? It is an incredible tree. Wouldn't be terribly surprised, but that's interesting. There's definitely a lot of things. That hole, why don't you just get a hole in me? Oh, I guess I can't explore that. That's interesting. Oh, it looks like it gets a lot more open world from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, typically acting as a symbol of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the world tree Yggdrasil of Norse mythology, which provided a map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But more recently, in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to original sin, causing its fall. Hmm. Huh. Interesting idea. What does that mean? You gotta wonder if this technology were to leak, what it would mean to different cultures and people and religions and ideas. Hmm, the acorn door is pretty neat. Captain Hall ordered us to collect enough acorns to open all the passageways in Sector 3. I'm about halfway there. Well, I got a ton of them. I don't know if those were yours. And I'm just not taking all your crap. I don't know why you're leaving them around everywhere. Ooh, sweet music again. <laughs> just can't get over this image. Music. Oh, 
gonna try and continue playing. Holy cow.